Welcome to the surprise videos on angle measurement, both degrees and radians. So in geometry, when we measure an angle, we're measuring the smallest amount of rotation about the origin from one side to the other side. Usually that's a measurement between 0 and 180 degrees. Whenever you take pre-cal though, you'll go outside of that little interval. So you might ask yourself a question like, um, well, how big is a degree? So if you could take a circle and use, say, a pizza cutter and cut that thing up into exactly 360 congruent parts, just one of those things would be a degree. It's pretty tiny. So you might also be wondering, why 360 degrees? And the answer is pretty simple. It's because there are 360 days in the year, of course. Well, at least that's what the Babylonians thought, and it's them that we have to thank for this whole concept of a degree anyway. Okay, so each year is made up of 12 months. Each of those months is made up of 30 days, and 12 times 30 gives us our 360 degrees. So that's where it comes from. Okay, if I were to take a clock, break this thing up into degrees, the question is, how many degrees does the hour hand rotate each hour? So, I take my 360 degrees, and divide it by 12 hours, and I get 30 degrees per hour. Okay, the second question down here, how many degrees does the minute hand rotate each minute? So, similarly, I take 360 degrees and divide it by 60 minutes. And here I can see, I cancel out my zeros here, I get 6 degrees per minute. Just to wrap your, your brain around something you're familiar with, clock phase and degrees. So, in between any two hours, like from 2 to 3, we're talking about 30 degrees. Okay, so from 1 to 3, that would be 60 degrees. You can also measure an angle in something that's called radians. So let's talk about what radians are, where they come from. Okay, so here's the question. If you were to take a radius, wrap it around the circle's circumference, how far would it reach? So right here, I've got a radius. It's going from the center outside right there at the number three and let's wrap that around the outside of the circle okay if we if we had a really bendy measure uh, like a, a really bendy ruler we can measure the length of that radius we could wrap it around and you can see where it would touch is right there above the one or maybe that's below the one depends on your point of view okay so now connect that back to the center of that clock that traces out an angle call that angle theta that's the Greek letter theta okay the arc that intercepts that has length one radian it's the same length as the radius of that circle and that is where one radian comes from question down at the bottom approximately how many degrees is one radian well we talked about how each of these hours is 30 degrees and this is almost two of them so it's almost 60 degrees just a little less than 60 degrees stop it here continue in just a minute 